Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have another stranger walking down my property. You look like you're up to no good. You better not be thinking about stealing the rims off my tractor. <laughs> anyway, all right. Uh, so I did, believe it or not, I did all of the contracts from yesterday. All the plowing, all the cultivating contracts. We are now up to 168425 bucks. so I made... I don't remember how much I had uh, before. I, we we made somewhere thirty thirty to forty thousand dollars, I think, um, from doing all that. And uh, what I did, and the if you guys didn't know this, if you borrow or use equipment for a contract for a specific kind of contract, in my case, it was plowing. You can actually take that same equipment and use it for subsequent contracts before you turn it in. And the game lets you do that. So I figured, hey, I got this like high end tractor. I got this ginormous plow. So why not uh, do all the other plowing contracts too? So that's basically what I did. And then, you know, after I finished all that stuff, uh, there was a couple of cultivating contracts. So again, I, I just got the, uh, the equipment for cultivating the first one. And then I just took that and used it on the second one. And, uh, you know, we made a tidy sum of money yesterday. I had a good time doing it. Uh, but I didn't show any of that on camera because, of course, you guys have already seen me cultivate and you've already seen me plow. Um, so I didn't figure that was camera worthy. Uh, other than, I guess, you know, we I did use a couple of different sizes of plows in that process uh, because another smaller contract came up at the end and I just went ahead and knocked that one out anyway. But, uh, I mean, I'm sure we'll be doing more plow. In fact, we're going to have to plow this field once we once we harvest it because if, if I look at it, if you look in the lower right-hand corner, it says that it does need plowing. Anyway, um, today's focus, however, is going to be on sugar beets. So it's time for us to harvest our sugar beets. And you better not be doing anything, pal. I'll run you over. I've been known to kill people with my mower before, just so you know. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, so, yeah, we need to... <coughs> excuse me. I'm a little... <coughs> a little congested today. So apologize for the sniffling and the coughing and all that. Um, but we need to go get our equipment. And yeah, so let's do that. Let's head on down to the to the shop here. And um we're gonna we're gonna get the, you know, we need the topper thing, we need the harvester thing. And we also need to figure out what to do with the beets. Now I'm thinking about, you know, we, we are eventually going to need a trailer. Not not a flatbed, but I mean a trailer we can haul grain and crops and stuff in. So we might consider, excuse me, consider buying a trailer. And then what we can do is we can put the beets inside the trailer and just store them in there. Now I know I can store them on the ground too, but the problem with storing them on the ground is then I've got to pick them back up again. Which, you know, I guess that might not be that big of a deal. So I think what we'll do is we'll look at getting ourselves a trailer to store the beets in. I mean, I don't know how many beets I'm going to have either. That's the other thing. That's not a huge field. Um, but, it, but if something comes up where I need that trailer, I can always dump them on the ground at that point, you know, and then just we'll just have to get a bucket thingy to pick them back up. Oh, I know what else I was going to do, though. Um, let's look at the pricing thingy here. So, sugar beets are currently selling uh, at Gold Crest Valley for 143. Now that's the another consideration. Uh, I I watched a video on how to do Gold Crest Valley. Basically, what we ha have to do is we have to take our crops to a train depot, offload them, and then we have to rent a train for a thousand dollars an hour. Now I don't know if it takes how many hours it takes for the train to get to Gold Crest or not. Um, so, so whatever, you know, even if this is a better price, we're still taking a thousand dollars off the top just by doing that alone. And, you know, so I don't know how the math turns out on that. But anyway, what I was saying is we get a better price for sugar beet cuts anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, the biogas plant, for example, is given 170 at this point in time. Now, again, I'm not planning on selling sugar beets until, oh, uh, let's see, we got to go back to here. 
Yeah, so sugar beet cuts also sell the best in January as well as sugar beets themselves. And we'll get another um, about 60 bucks per liter if we do the cuts. Um, and so to do the cuts, we have to we have to get a front loader attachment. We already have the front loader that scoops the beets up and then chops them. So, again, the question I guess I need to answer for myself is, is that something, you know, how much is that going to cost? Right. So let's look at that. So if we go to front loader tools and we go uh, to this thing here. A tool. This tool can cut sugar beets to feed them to your biogas plant. Um, so that's fifteen, fifteen and a half thousand dollars to purchase it. How much would it be to lease it? Yeah, you know, since I'm not planning at this point in time, you know, to be in the sugar beet business, I would probably just lease this uh, when the time comes. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Now, I don't know if we can store sugar beet cuts or cut sugar beets on the ground. I would think not. Um, so that means, like I said, uh, we're going to need to do the, a trailer. So let's do this. Let's go to trailers uh, right here. And, you know, this investment is something that we are we're going to buy this trailer whatever we decide to get because we can use it for all kinds of things right um and i believe we want to make sure we have a trailer that is side dump capable i i know i said that as soon as i hit 150,000 i was going to buy the bale pickup but i think we're going to hold off on that until after the sugar beet harvest and then we'll see where we are with that um okay so <clears throat> we got these brantner trailers Agro liner. I mean, I'm not even really sure. There's so many trailers and they do so many different things. I'm not re even really sure which one we should get. But I'm thinking maybe starting with one of these Rudolph trailers uh, or maybe this Brantner. So I guess what we need to look at is what can it haul um, and how much will it hold? So this will hold 18 and a half meters squared. Same with that one, same with that one, same. Okay, this one can hold up to 24 and a half with some kind of extension that we can put on it. And we're looking at, uh, compared to these two, anyways, we're looking at another $9,000 to go up to 24 and a half meters. All right, let's look at this one for a second. So that means we would have, yeah, we would add this extension to it and that's going to cost us another $4,000. Okay. And it looks like this is both a side dump trailer and it should also, I, I would think it's a rear dump. Yeah. It's got a little port back here, so it's got to be also a rear dump. Yeah. See there's, whoops, there's a little thingy out there. Um, does it tell us that anywhere when we look at it? Tippers trailers are used to transport different types of crops. Yeah. So it doesn't seem to indicate how it dumps. I guess you just have to look at the, the picture to see that. Uh, at least I'm not noticing anywhere where it's telling me how it dumps. Okay. So that's an option. This will cost us um, $36,000 if we get the extension, which we probably just will. Um, is there anything else in that price range that has a little more capacity? Let's just keep looking here for a second. That side dump is really expensive, and it doesn't look like it does a rear dump anyway. I'd like to have rear dump just because it's going to give us a, you know, more flexibility with the trailer. See, these are much smaller capacity trailers, which makes sense because they're all on that, on the cheaper end. If we go further this way, okay, that can do up to 33.6 meters for $33,000. So that's, that's only $1,000 more. Um, what is the extension cost? Oh, that is with, uh, no, the extension is $5,500. So, so the whole thing... 
there then uh, comes up to 38,000. Uh, this is a rear dump, but is it a side dump? I wished it would tell you that. Um, it doesn't look to me like it dumps from the side. Just by looking at it. And, and, well, yeah, I don't think it does. Okay, so that makes this trailer a little less uh, useful. Less versatile, I guess is the word I should say. Yeah, just by looking at it, I don't see anywhere where, where it does a side dump. Okay, so if that's the case, then that one's not really going to work for us. Okay, let's look at this Brantner here. So that'll go up to 25.5 meters squared. I don't know, though, man. This one does 24 and a half, so it's a half meter less, but it's a lot less money. <laughs> Let's look at this, though. Okay, that's a rear dump. Uh, I want to say this is also a side dump because... It looks like these little mechanisms here open up these gates. So I think this is also a side dump. <laughs> okay, and it is um Oh okay, so we could ooh, we could make this a bale trailer too. That definitely increases its versatility. That gets it up to twenty-five. Um, yeah, I'm sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sure that's what these springs represent is the side dump. And then, of course, this is the rear dump here. <laughs> okay, so if this is fully configured, it's going to cost us $44,000, and it's going to give us 25 and a half meters of, of capacity. I'm just trying to figure out why, what makes this better than the Rudolph trailer that's 24 and a half other than one square meter, which is not a big deal for that much more money. Let's go back to the Rudolph again for a second. Okay, so if we configure this with the extension, um, we're just one meter shorter in capacity, but we have side dump and we have rear dump. And it's a lot less money. I don't know. I, I'm going to go with this one. It seems to me like this is the one that makes the most sense. Um, because we're almost comparing apples to apples with that other trailer, but that other trailer is just a lot more money. Unless I'm missing something. And again, we can't go wrong by buying something like this because we can use it over and over again for multiple things. Okay, so that's decided. We are going to buy this trailer. Okay, so that's done. Now, let's go to uh, back to beat technology, and we're going to start by leasing this guy. Um, and then we're going to need to lease this guy, and then we can use this guy to dump the beats into our trailer. Uh, but I also want to do, I also want to do the beat cuts. So what we're going to do is let's lease this. Okay, that's going to cost us twelve hundred bucks, twelve hundred forty-nine. That's not too bad. Let's lease this. This is going to be more expensive, but it is what it is. Five thousand dollars. Okay, and then let's lease the bucket. Seven hundred ninety dollars. Okay, I think, ladies and gentlemen. That we have everything we need to do our sugar beets. Okay. So we're going to have to run this separate from this because I don't have enough horsepower on my tractor to run both of them at the same time. So let's grab the topper 
and we'll grab the uh, trailer first and take that stuff back to, to the shop. And then we'll come back and get the other stuff. We'll, actually, we'll, we can probably just come back and get it later when we need it. Since I don't have a lot of room to stage stuff anyway. That trailer doesn't look that big, actually. <laughs> it looked bigger in the picture. I don't know. Um, I don't think that... Oh, you know what, though? I think what made that other trailer actually superior was the fact that we could also make it into a flatbed. But, we, I mean, we already have a flatbed, so we don't need one anyway. Still, I, I think the, the price difference was significant between the two. All right. This is going to be our very first harvest, you guys. Well, if you don't count the hay. I guess we have harvested hay. Uh, our own harvest, I should say. So this is going to be fun. I'm I'm, uh, I'm just enjoying this game so much. I know I say that all the time, but I am. It is a lot of fun to play. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is... I think I might move my flatbed to the back 40. So let's go ahead and... Stage the trailer here for now. Actually, I'm going to have to back it up a little more than that. <clears throat> and we'll move the flatbed, like I said, to the, to the backyard. Just to get it out of the way so we can kind of use this as our staging area for everything. Yeah, maybe we should use this as our staging area. Yeah, maybe we will. Well, when I say staging, I mean, you know, dumping the beets and processing them. So we'll take the flatbed over here. <coughs> Excuse me. It just gives us more room over here to do all that. Okay, you stay there. <laughs> And notice I can drive over the crops with the skinny tires and doesn't hurt them. The game is assuming that in real life I'm driving between the rows, so it just makes the tires not damage the crop. Just about had it there. There we go. I noticed there was a mod on the mod hub that actually requires you to get out of your vehicle and, and hitch up your trailers. Because you have to do that in Gold Rush. I was thinking about getting that just for realism. Okay, so let's just put this trailer here. And I think we're ready to start chopping beets. Um, yeah, I think we are. So I guess we could start on this end. Well, when I say chopping beets, I mean chopping the tops off the beets. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. That's it. There's no unfolding. We just go to town. All right, let's do this. Let's 
It's too bad we couldn't use the, you know, the the uh, foli foliage for something like silage or whatever. Maybe there is a way to do that. I don't know, but I didn't see anything in the shot that allowed for something like that. have to back up and swing around here while the trailer's in the way. That's cool, man. You can see <laughs> you can see the the beats sticking up out of the ground after you take the tops off of them. Very realistic. Did I miss that first plant? Uh, nope, I didn't. We're good. This is neat, man. Feels good. Harvesting our first crop ever in this game, not counting hay. Well, yeah. Right. Why isn't that? Okay, hold on. All right, I'm back. Um, my, I have my. A raise and lower function mapped to my one of the thumb buttons on my mouse, and it's not working. And so when I went to check it, I accidentally stopped the recording. <laughs> uh, so you can see I've, I've done a few more swaths since uh, the last time. Um, but, yeah, for some reason it's not working. I don't know. So I'm just going to use the button on my um, my stick, or I can always you know use the keyboard button too. But anyway, yeah, we are going along and topping these beats. Whoops, got a little too far over there. We have our final pass here on the topping. And then what we'll do is we'll go return the topper. There's no point in hanging on to it any further. And grab the harvester, the digger, and bring that back and dig up some beets. That is the plan. Awesome. Okay. I didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think so. I think we got it all. When I uh, occasionally miss a little spot, I just stop and deal with it right then and there. So, okay. Yeah, let's go return the topper and get the harvester. Um, I'm thinking I might want to have a weight on the front of the tractor for the harvester. Uh, or, you know, I guess we could keep the topper and use that as the weight, now that I think about it. It wouldn't hurt for us to own our own weight anyways, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, we already have this. Let's just keep it and use it as the weight. Hopefully it's heavy enough. All right. Fun, fun. This is made by Grimm. Okay. 
Okay. I'm guessing we're going to need to be right about here-ish. Okay, so... Uh, turn on. And... Lower the thingy. Oh, see, the lower button on my mouse works for this implement. That's weird. Okay. Here we go. Is it digging? Oh, yeah, it is digging. The thing is, is I can't really tell what's been dug and what hasn't in terms of the way the field looks. Well, that's going to be tricky. Okay, well, um, I'm just going to have to really try and pay attention to what we're doing here. I mean, the, you, the beats will be gone, but they're really, really hard to see, is what I'm saying. You know what we might do with this, guys? We might do actual circles. Um, so let's lift the thingy up. a little bit bigger so it's not gonna be quite as easy to turn around and stuff all right I want to I'm gonna line up for the next run and then I'm going to hop out and just see if it's getting the beats all the way on the edge. Well, you can tell a difference from Yeah, I guess I guess I can tell the difference. If I get a little further out, I can see where the beats are and where they're not. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking I need to have my wheel Let's put it in the front wheel into the second row and see if that's picking them up all the way on the edge. I was just having a, a lot harder time seeing it from that other angle. Okay, so let's stop here for a second and hop out. Are we getting everything on the edge here? Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, you know what? I'm a noob. I forgot to lower the thingy. Crap, we just destroyed a bunch of beets with the tires of the harvester. Son of a gun. All right, well, can't take me anywhere, man, I swear. All right, you know what, then, let's at least, whoop, no, 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 no. Let's at least back up and get the few in the middle that didn't get hosed by the tires. It's the harvester tires that got them, not my tires. I want to go really caref careful here. Uh, it, it, so I don't run over any more beats. Okay, make sure that thing's down. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm thinking my, I want my tractor tire. Oh, look at those beats coming in, that is cool. Uh, right in between the second row there okay let's stop here and just confirm that we're getting everything on the edge yeah uh, yeah we are okay good so I think that's the right positioning based upon you know the look of this I don't think we would want to be well is it actually picking these ones up all on the edge? Because it shouldn't be. Because the, the digger thingy starts right there. But maybe the game's just give, giving me a margin for error here. Let's, um, let's go forward a little more. Okay. 
Yeah, it's picking them up, so it's just giving me a little margin for, of error. But it, it, if this was in the real world, I'd want to make sure that this section was actually over here, so it's grabbing these beats. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know, for the sake of realism, I think we're going to do it the right way. So I think we want our tire, our front tire, just on the other side of the first row of beats. And we're going to, we'll do it that way because that's the way we would have to do it in real life. This is going to be... Oh, we'll have to come at it from, yeah, the other side. Unless we can just... No, we can't quite nab the thing, uh, thing there. Okay. Okay, let's back up just a smidge here. Oh, by the way, I, didn't, I don't think I told you guys this, but I don't have any contracts today, or at least not as of right now, and it is October 2nd. So I wonder if it takes a couple of days for the contracts to come back up. Um, or maybe that's what the mod's doing. Because there's only so many fields, I guess, that are ready to be plowed at any one time. And, and, you know, if that's the way it works, I'm fine with that. I just wasn't sure if it was working at all or if there was something broken, you know. Oop. Okay, let's actually straighten this out and then back it up and get another shot at this. A little bit better. So yeah, from this angle, it is really hard to tell where the beats start, you know? Um, Okay, I can kind of see them from here. So it looks like they, whoops, looks like they start right here. Okay, so really screwing up my head trying to steer backwards when I'm looking forwards, or no, steer forwards when I'm looking backwards. So I think this is about where we need to be, but like I said, it's just really hard to see those beats at this angle. Okay, I can kind of see them now. Oh! <laughs> uh, I should have been paying attention to something. I'm full. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it, you guys. I just destroyed a whole nother row of beats because I didn't notice... Well, not a whole several rows because I was full you guys are probably face palming oh man it's so hard not to be a noob farmer <laughs> crap okay well you know it is what it is and uh, we're gonna have to take the loss for my noobness but I'll learn and it's those hard lessons that'll cause me to learn okay so anyway how which side does this thing go out it's going to be... Folding is not allowed while the tool is turned on. No, I'm not trying to fold it. Um, yeah, we want that lifted up. Oh, do I actually have to turn it off? Okay. Folding is not allowed while the tool is filled. I'm not trying to... Okay, let's look at the help menu. Uh, pipe out is O. Oh, you know what? I'll bet you I don't have... Do I have that mapped? Yeah, I don't think I have that mapped on my... Oh! Oh, no, I accidentally hired an AI worker. No, that's not what I want to do. How do I unhire the worker? There we go. Okay. 
All right, well, we are obviously on the wrong side of our trailer, so let's fix that first. And I don't, I must not have mapped the pipe. Um, because it's not working on any of my, my, uh, stick commands. And you know, the other thing too that just occurred to me is we don't actually want to put this in the trailer yet. We want to dump them on the ground so that we can chop them. Okay. So, why don't we do the chopping over here? Oh, that irritates me that I just destroyed those crops. Dog, come on. Uh, I can't do anything about it, you guys. It is what it is. It sucks. But it is what it is. All right, yeah, let's make our pile here. All right, so how do we pipe in fold harvester? Unload here. That's control I. All right. Look at that. That is cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This game is so neat. So what we'll do later is we'll come along with the, that bucket chopper thingamadoodle and chop them up, and then we'll put the chop beats inside the trailer. That's the plan. Okay, cool. So pipe in is a zero. And I think, I think we're ready to go. Wrong button. Oh man, okay, so it looks like I may have missed a few beats along there too. So let's not drive over our beats and smash them like I just did. I don't think it actually hurt them. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, I'm trying to get the back end of this around. Let's lower the thing so... So I have a, a couple beats that we did miss on this outside edge. So let's get them. All I can tell you, you guys, is the next time I harvest sugar beets, I'll be better. All I can do is get better. Well, I could get worse, but I am the kind of person that usually, or I maybe I should say eventually, learns from my mistakes. <laughs> Crap. Okay, yeah, we lost. Oh, man, we lost all of those, too. <sighs> what can you do? What can you do? But better next time. That's all you can do. Okay, let's quit uh, whining about our screw up and move on. Oh, get out of there. You're messing up my turn, you stupid car. All right, let's let the stupid car pass. Actually, who's the stupid one? The guy turning around in the middle of the street or the poor car that's just trying to get to its destination. But don't answer that question. Okay, so we have, man, okay, I can see them if I get way down here. So I think what we want to do is get in this line. No, we're still not quite picking them up. Okay, so we're going to have to get a little further over. Maybe I should let the AI worker do this. He'll probably do a better job than I am doing. But no, I gotta I gotta learn how to do it A and B. I don't have enough money to where I want to start paying workers to do stuff yet. We will get there eventually. Okay, I think I'm getting the majority of what was missed here now. There's still a little line off the left that we'll have to come back and get to. Okay, so let's back up. Let's kind of swing this way a little bit. Do not drive over those beats. Ugh. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Let's just keep going. And then maybe I'll try and do some cleanup at the end because... 
I don't want to keep destroying crops here. <sighs> okay. We got this. We got this. I don't know how well we got it, but we got it. Okay, so let's back up this way and get the rig lined up to get these beats along here. And again, we want to keep our wheel right inside the first row of beats there. Okay. In my defense, it is very difficult to see what's going on when you're moving, um, you know, that direction. But that's no excuse for me not noticing my harvester was full and squashing all those beats. That's my fault. 110% my fault. Okay, let's raise that up and we're going to swing around this way. And yes, I am watching the fill meter this time. And yeah, I think we did a pretty good job of getting everything on the edge there once we kind of figured out our positioning. Uh, we do have halfway down though, the row starts going the other way. So I'm going to actually keep my tire to the right of the last row so we pick up that one we missed. Okay, make sure that's down. You know, the baler has a little beeper that tells you when it's about full. Too bad this thing didn't have that. That would have helped a little bit. Ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine. Okay. So Let's turn you off, raise you up. Now we're going to carefully back up so we don't back up over the existing beats. There we go. We can hit the beats with our tractor tires. We just can't hit them with the harvester. Okay, let's go dump these off. I'm gonna turn the help menu. Uh, no, turn the help menu off so we can see what's going on here better. Okay, so O is pipe. And uh, what was unload? Pipe in. It's, oh. Do I have to turn the harvester back on? No, I don't think so. Oh, control I is unload, okay. So cool. So cool. <laughs> I love it. All right. Very good. Now, bring the pipe back in. And get rid of the help menu for now. And let's back up. And try not to back up over our beats. And we're off.
right, guys, I think that wraps up our very first harvest, uh, beet harvest, fruit harvest. Um, so, absolute number one thing I've got to train myself to do when I'm harvesting is watch that fill meter because there was a couple more times where I was just spaced off. You know, you're going along, you're watching the lines, you're just cruising along, and your mind wanders. And, yeah, there was a couple more times I missed it and smashed a few more crops. So I just really have to train myself to do that because all the harvesting we've done to date has just been hay. And it doesn't matter with hay because, A, you know, the baler I have anyways beeps at you, and, B, even if you miss it, you know, it's not a big deal because you don't destroy the crop. Whereas with this, you do because if you can't pick the beets up, then it starts running over them. So that's a really, really important uh, thing for me to, you know, train myself to do. And that's, it's just going to, you know, come with time. That's really all there is to it. Okay, well, uh, we have ourselves a clean field. I think I got all the beets off that field, as far as I can tell. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to... Uh, yeah, it looks pretty clean. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and get that bucket. And we're going to start chopping those beets. Now, um, looking at that pile of beets and looking at the trailer I bought, <laughs> there is no way those beets are going to fit in that trailer. So you know what I'm thinking actually we maybe should do is we should probably wait uh, to chop until we're ready to actually sell. So let's look at this again. Uh, we want to look at sugar beet cuts because that's what we're shooting for. And we don't want to sell these till January. So we're probably going to wait until January to cut them and then we'll load them into the trailer and take them to the sell point at that time. And if we look at the current prices, it looks like the biogas plant is going to be the place to do that, uh, which is great because it's not too far away from here. Um, so, yeah, let's go return this equipment. We, we'll go pick up our bucket. Um, oh, you know what, though? Crap, I forgot something. I leased that bucket, didn't I? I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited. Uh, all right, well, we'll just return it. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. And we'll lease it again when the time, you know, in in January to cut those beets. Because here again, I I don't know if I can cut them now and still store them on the ground. If you guys know that, um, if you know the game will allow me to do that, uh, definitely let me know in the comments, um, just so I know. Uh, but at this point, I'm going to assume that those beets need to stay whole if we're going to just store them on the ground there for now. Okay, so let's go back and return this equipment here. Okay, guys, well, I think, um, yeah, I think um, we're done for today, <clears throat> excuse me, on October 2nd. So I'm going to go back home. We'll give our tractor a cleaning. I'm going to go back home and uh, take the rest of today off since there isn't any more work for us to do. Now, you know, one thing I could do. And I thought about this, is we could cut some trees down on our property and sell the wood. That would give us a little something to do. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. Should we do that? I mean, we. the only thing I would need is a chainsaw and a log lifter. Yeah, a chainsaw and a log lifter. Because we already have the trailer, right? And we can just put everything on the flatbed to sell it. Let's go back here and... I wouldn't mind getting some of those trees out of the way anyhow because they're just... You know, they're in the way. The other thing about that though is then it's going to leave stumps and then we'd also have to get a stump remover thing in Madoodle if we really wanted to clear it. So... Hmm. The question is, is it going to be worth my while to do that? That's really what it boils down to. So let's look at, let's look at chainsaws. Oh yeah, these are all cheap. So that doesn't ma that doesn't matter. I mean, not, not significant. Forestry equipment. So uh, this forestry mulchers can be used to remove tree stumps and bushes. So we would have to release that guy. And it looks like that's the least expensive one. 
This machinery grinds down tree stumps. This machine breaks trunks into wood chips. What's that do? Tree planter. Oh, that's a planter. Okay, cool. Um, so I think, you know, we, we're looking at leasing this. Which is going to cost us twelve hundred bucks and change, uh, and that gets rid of the stumps. And then we're also going to need to go back to here, and we're going to need a log fork. And that we might just straight up buy. It's only three thousand bucks. Okay, so we're looking at, uh, what was this thing again to lease? 1200 okay. So we're looking at about $4,200 of an investment to lease this and purchase the log lifter thing. Now... Let's go to here and let's see what kind of market there is for wood. Okay. So a thousand bucks per, I don't know. I don't know what the measurement is on that. What about wood chips? Yeah, that seems large. We'd probably be further ahead just to sell the wood straight up because if we do wood chips, then we're also going to have to get a wood chipper. Um, all right, this might be worth it because because then we clear the trees off our farm. We could make our field larger for one thing if we wanted to. Um, the next time we harvest our grass, we won't have all those trees in the way, and I think we'll do that. Plus, it'll give me some experience uh, doing some basic logging in the game. Okay, uh, but guys, that is going to be for the next episode because uh, I believe we're out of time in this episode. So yeah, the plan for October the 3rd, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home, I'm going to sleep and wash the tractor because that's important. Um, and then if we don't have any good contracts on October 3rd, uh, then what we'll do is we'll, we'll log our property. So that is the plan. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.